I really love gravel cycling. I had a pretty awesome ride this weekend. And you know, I'm surprised that after six months of owning my BMC Earth gravel bike, I still get blown away by how versatile and robust this thing is. I mean, it goes so smoothly from riding on paved roads, and it's pretty, pretty quick on the paved roads, to gravel, dirt roads, to really chunky kind of backcountry type of stuff, to single track, forests and trails and fields. And the thing handles everything so well. I feel like I'm pretty badass doing it actually. And I have so much fun. And I did a, a really cool ride with a group of people, acquaintances, others were new friends that I made and legends that I've been hearing about for years and years and years. And it was so neat to finally have the chance to ride with them. We did a pretty cool route. We did stop like towards the end of it to have some lunch. And after lunch, I rode a little bit ahead of a, a group that I was with and turned into a small neighborhood where a mom and a little boy were going off jumps that they had built. And I thought that was so, so so cool. I asked them if I could have a turn and they said yeah and the little boy was especially excited. I mean I would be excited too if somebody who I didn't know came into my neighborhood and asked if they could play bikes with me especially on a jump that I'd probably built myself. I knew that I had to get back to the group of people that I was with so I wanted to make the most of my time. So instead of hitting the tiny jump I hit the big one uh, and I hit it but I didn't land it. I like totally biffed it. I smashed into my Face. You can see it there, it's not too pretty. And my helmet is totaled. But I did a very good job at saving my brain because I don't have any severe concussion symptoms. I'm still taking it very, very easy, especially since it's only been about 24 hours. Um, and the ambulance came and picked me up. So uh, as I was laying in the hospital for a few hours, I started to get a little bit more and more in pain and at a certain point I actually started crying which means that it was like pretty bad. Uh, so they gave me a little bit of Tylenol and um, offered me some morphine which I said no to because I'm kind of like scared of opiates and they did some x-rays and unfortunately my collarbone is broken. And maybe I should say fortunately because a broken collarbone is a very common injury amongst cyclists especially for racing. So now I can say that I'm part of the club and I can finally relate to everybody else who's gone through this situation. Tomorrow I will see an orthopedic surgeon and we'll decide whether or not I'm gonna need some surgery. The ER doctor told me that there's a pretty big chance that I will need surgery. So mm, I'm not a fan of surgery either, but I am a fan of having my body work as well as possible for as long as possible. And if that's what it's gonna take, well, that's what it's gonna take. I do wanna say thank you so much to a lot of people who have helped me in the last 24 hours. Like really, really kind people helping me do things that I would not have been able to do on my own. And now I am back in my own home all alone and I'm figuring out how to do things all alone. Simple, like things as simple as washing myself, putting this sling back on, which is holding my arm in place so the broken collarbone doesn't like heal in a really, really wonky way. And also so I don't find myself in even more pain, which is not too bad right now because I did take a few Tylenols and I'm saving the half dose of morphine for tonight, which is gonna help me sleep. Also, it's gonna cut the pain a little bit more, which is gonna help me relax somewhat. And then we'll, then we'll see what the orthopedic surgeon says tomorrow. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this because hopefully 